How does the GSE, Humidity EC fan controller works? Choose between 0 to 10 volt signal, or PVM pulse width modulation signal. Some EC fans provide the plus 10 volt power for a single speed potentiometer, but not enough power to drive a controller. Now you have several possibilities. You can use a classic analog 0 to 10 volts signal, and use an external power supply for the EC fan controller, if your EC fan is unable to provide enough power itself. You can use a classic analog 0 to 10 volts signal, without a power supply, but you need to make sure your fan is able to provide enough energy, to allow the controller to return 10 volt to the input of the EC fan, so that would correspond to 100% speed. In general, if you would like to use a 0 to 10 volts exit, you should always keep JP3 on. If there is not enough power from the EC fan, then you can add an external 12 volts adapter. You can change the signal on jumper JP1 according the fan to PVM pulse width modulation. In this case we don't use 10 volts as exit anymore, so we can work with lower voltage. Make sure that your fan is working in real PVM mode. We still can use the same voltage to supply power the controller, but if JP3 is on, it will require a minimum 4 mA power supply from the EC fan. You can change the signal on jumper JP1 according to the fan, to PVM pulse width modulation. If you remove the jumper JP3, you are able to run the fan controller under PVM, with 2 mA consumption. Install the EC fan controller on a wall, using the Velcro fasteners included in the package. Place the sensor at the area you wish to measure. Make sure that the sensor is not directly exposed to a heat source or stream of light, in order to obtain the most precise measurement of the ambient air. The Humidity EC fan controller is a speed regulator for one exhaust fan. You can post three settings on three knobs, temperature, humidity, and minimum speed setting. The temperature range is from 20 to 30 degrees Celsius. The humidity range is from 30% to 100% relative humidity. The minimum speed setting is variable from 0 to 100% fan speed. On the temperature setting knob you set the desired temperature, for example 24 degrees Celsius. On the humidity setting knob you set the desired humidity, for example 60% relative humidity. On the third knob you set the minimum speed of the fan, which should never be undercut during the regulation, for example we set this on 20%. The temperature hysteresis is a fixed value of 2 degrees Celsius. The temperature hysteresis is the controlling range of the fan speed according to the temperature. In these 2 degrees Celsius the fan speed will change from the lowest point given from the minimum speed setting, to the highest point of the regulation 100% of the fan speed depending on the measured temperature. The same happens with the humidity hysteresis. The humidity hysteresis is a fixed value of 10%. The humidity hysteresis is the controlling range of the fan speed according to the humidity. In these 10% relative humidity, the fan speed will change from the lowest point given from the minimum speed setting, to the highest point of the regulation 100% of the fan speed depending on the measured humidity. Between temperature and humidity, the stronger signal is always the one which commands the fan. As long as the measured temperature on the probe is below 24 degrees Celsius, the controller keeps your fan working at 20% speed, which comes from the minimum speed setting. When the temperature rise and exceed the 24 degrees Celsius, the fan speed starts to increase according to the temperature in the next 2 degrees, up to 100% fan speed, till 26 degrees Celsius. Now as higher the fan speed is, and more fresh and cold air is circulating in the room, the measured temperature will decrease again, and the fan will slow down. We call this auto-balancing of the airflow according to the temperature. The same happens with the humidity. If the measured humidity at the probe is below 60% relative humidity, the controller keeps your fan working on 20% speed which comes from the minimum speed setting. 
When the humidity rise and exceed 60% relative humidity, the fans start to increase, according to the measured humidity in the next 10% humidity hysteresis, up to 100% fan speed, till 70% relative humidity. Now as higher the fan speed is and more fresh and dry air is circulating in the room, the measured humidity will decrease again, and the fan will slow down. We call this auto-balancing of the airflow according to the humidity. The minimum speed setting is the strongest setting, and always overdrives the temperature, and humidity setting. If you set the minimum speed setting to off position, the fan will stop working when the measured temperature and humidity, are below their set values.